Returning now to the breaking news we're following for you out of Casper, Wyoming. At least one person has been killed and another wounded in an attack at a community college in Casper. A spokesperson for Casper College says police have taken one person into custody. Now, we just checked the school's website. It says the campus is no longer, longer in lockdown and campus travel is now being permitted. However, all of the classes and the activities, again, this is at Casper Campus, uh, Casper College in Casper, Wyoming, those activities and classes are now canceled. We want to let you know also that Boulder students at the University of Colorado want to clear the air with a total ban on all on-campus smoking. The plan was brought by students and then passed first reading last night by a healthy 10 to 5 vote and it involves a two-year transition to a total campus-wide smoking ban indoors and outdoors. The school estimates only 6% of all CU Boulder students are daily smokers. Amendment 64, legalizing marijuana, is set to go into effect soon, but some Colorado communities are not sold on this idea. From snacks to sodas to the traditional plants, Colorado adults will be able to use and possess marijuana without a medical marijuana card starting in January. Yet, under the new rules, local governments can ban sales and grow setups, and that's exactly what Douglas County commissioners are poised to do. Based on that law, we cannot stop them from having less than an ounce in possession. Well, we checked with several lawyers, and they agree the possession part of the law likely would take effect on time in January. It's the sale of marijuana by October of 2013 that faces a challenge, apparently. Lawmakers need to set regulations before shops ever open. Otherwise, the legal experts say each city would have to set its own rules. Happening today, the U.S. Supreme Court is taking up the gay marriage debate. Three weeks after voters approved same-sex marriage in three states, the justices are meeting to discuss whether the Constitution gives people the right to marry regardless of sexual orientation. They also will look at whether Congress can prevent gay couples from getting federal benefits. Currently, gay marriage is or soon will be legal in nine states. 31 states have amendments banning it. In tough economic times, a lot of people must choose between buying gifts or giving to charity. But 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen is finding a growing website that helps you check off your Christmas list, list and support a favorite charity at no cost to you. The Arapaho Rescue Patrol is a group of teenagers trained to save lives. For an organization like ours where it's 100% volunteer and we work totally off of donations. Chief Justin Canaber says that's why donations from GoodShop.com have been such a good thing. It's great. It's fuel for our trucks. It's uh, rescue gear. GoodShop.com is like an online mall with hundreds of national retailers, Amazon, Target, Best Buy. If you go to one of those retailers through GoodShop, that retailer, Amazon or Best Buy, for example, will donate a percentage of your purchase to the charity of your choice at no cost to you. Why? All of the different merchants want to attract new and loyal customers, and they're also happy to subsidize it because they know that they want to make donations to help charities. So as much as 20% of your purchase goes to groups like Colorado St. Bernard Rescue, which has gotten more than $3,000 through Good Shop. We found local theater companies, a SID support group, and Arapaho Rescue Patrol have all benefited. Uh, if you're going to be shopping online anyways, it doesn't cost you anything to go to goodshop.com. It's one extra step that takes you literally 30 seconds and, or less. Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. The same company also hosts GoodSearch.com. It's a search engine powered by Yahoo that gives a penny to your favorite charity for every search you perform. Another way you can make a difference this holiday season is to join Denver 7 to support our troops. We've teamed with the Colorado National Guard Family Program and Rocky Mountain Honda dealers to send care packages to soldiers serving overseas. So through December 15th, we're collecting towels, pillowcases, personal hygiene items, as well as other personal items, and you can drop them off at any Honda dealership. For a complete list of what's needed, go to the spotlight section on the front page of the DenverChannel.com and thank you in advance for supporting our troops. Take a look. This photo is making its way all around the world. It shows 25-year-old officer Larry DiPrimo. He came across this homeless man who had no shoes or socks and he had blisters on his feet. Officer DiPrimo went to a Skechers store and bought the man a new pair of size 12 boots. And when he brought them to him, this happened. He looked me right in the face and the smile just went from ear to ear. And again, he said, God bless me. And he said, you know, be safe. And I just couldn't believe it was coming out of his mouth. You know, it's just for such a, a small gesture. You know, he was so appreciative. 
A very meaningful gesture. The person who took the picture emailed it to the police department so he'd get credit. The department put it on Facebook, and so far there are tens of thousands of comments on the picture and probably some good morale all around that department.